Still here. Still here. The weather's changing now, and I feel pretty anxious about moving forward. I've been trying out some new supplements, one of them being Lion's Mane. Let me know if any of you guys have ever tried it. Excuse me, I just, I just drink, just give it to the lady. Yeah, it's a her. I feel like it's Groundhog Day every day, kind of in a mental weird headspace. I just need to move forward and I feel like I'm just waiting for something. For now all I can do is drive to the middle of nowhere, going nowhere with no direction or no plans. I need to keep experiencing new things. What is this? Pepper jelly. So today I'm going to take the truck and drive aimlessly. Uh, it sounded cooler in my head when I decided it. At first I have to go to the post office, drop a package off for my mom, but then, then we go on an adventure. I guess we go now. Oh, the adventure. I'm so excited about this one. Post office first. What will happen? I did it. She's like, uh, I'm like, can you do that? And she's like, well, yeah. I'm like, okay, thanks, bye. Great, the first adventure is done. There's two things that could happen here. We could end up in an Amish farm somewhere, or we could end up in a small, underwhelming town. <laughs> That's basically the two things that might happen. Um, don't really know the area. Even though I grew up here, I was very sheltered and I never went out. And I also have never really driven around. So I don't really know anything about where I grew up. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive and let my intuition kind of just guide me to where I'm supposed to go. And that will probably, like I said, be nowhere. My intuition does this quite often. With no plan. Let's go, let's go drive and, and um, maybe I'll stop somewhere and update you on my thoughts and emotions. This is great. It's really hot in here, okay. Any day cast. <laughs> Quite low on the fuel. A car before and fix it with that the body was completely falling apart it was just i bought it for like 400 bucks <laughs> and it's a big it's just rust so you can expect around here is rust there's so much snow and rain and okay so this is the official adventure now we had to pick a crossroads uh, another thing about me is i'm very directionally challenged i don't really know left from right even so like anywhere i end up it's gonna be a, i'll be like whoa where am i and it'll literally be like two miles down the road i'll be like i don't know where like, if I had a different country... <laughs> I'm gonna stop because I'm getting bored of the scenery. So basically, if you guys want to know, I can't film while I'm driving. That's too dangerous. I'm, I'm driving on a long straight just on the main road, and uh, I don't know where I'm at. I think back a while ago I was in Polk. Uh, don't know where that's at. If you guys wonder who all voted for Trump, it's definitely my whole entire uh, state, probably. <laughs> I don't know why. It's certain, like, area, like small town people, usually, uh, they just all th think it's very similar. And that's why I, I feel, I realize while driving, I feel trapped. I feel trapped and this is why I'm driving. I think it's good to drive, I'm just very much in my head because, you know, I'm alone. Solo female travel adventures. And I'm not going anywhere, so I don't have to really pay attention to any directions. I don't know where I'm at. I'm not labeling anything. I'm not actually looking at where I'm going, like signs and stuff, because I don't want to know. 
Um, I think whatever you do that in life though, it helps you to live more presently. Don't label things, just be and experience them. Like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, I have to drive all the way back after this. Now I'm just wasting gas. No, it's not a waste of gas. This is the whole point. This is the whole point. But this area is quite boring. I'm in a battle with myself. Oh, this is so intense. <laughs> Pulled over again. Um, the apartment situation is what is fucking dry. Fuck! 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 fuck, fuck. Sorry, I made a mess again. Everything never goes right. <laughs> so we applied for this apartment like a month a fucking go. It's been the most unprofessional. They wouldn't give us an answer. They could have said no. They could have easily said no. We gave them all our information. We've been waiting. They keep saying they'll get back. Blah 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 blah. So they didn't. We also paid to apply and everything. And it's just like it's ridiculous. It's dumb. That's how life goes sometimes be like that sometimes. Can't really start my life anywhere because we've just been waiting and I kind of had it in my head that hey, I am leaving now but now I'm not. So whenever you get something in your head and then you realize oh no then it's like so do, do you know what I'm saying? Do you understand? Um, I'm trying to get driving and driving. I'm trying to get away from something which is probably another problem not living presently enough but it's like this is my problem. I need to stop running away. I, or sometimes do you need to stop running away? I need to stop ranting, that's for sure. You're, you guys, thank you for listening to me. I'm ridiculously crazy right now, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm stressed out. There's so many situations I just wanna say fuck you too. Like I do right now. Later I'll be like, ugh, I was dramatic. But there's a lot of situations where I say a big fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. It's not a person, well, <laughs> maybe. But more so things. And um, so fuck it. It's our event sesh. I love you guys. I'm so confused. I'm on this road, okay? And I don't think I'm allowed to be on here. I'm so fucked. This is like a highway, and I was able to enter it, but there's not a single other car. I need to get off of it, and it's completely, like the road is completely like destroyed. There's no way I could drive a speed limit on this road. I'm just waiting for a cop to come pull me over and be like, hey, why are you driving on this highway you're not allowed to drive on? Because there's a bunch of like machines on the sides too. And I need to get off of it. I don't know where I'm at. This is produce more stress than freedom in my life right now. And I keep getting like, I'm just finding out that, you know, about the apartment and stuff, which is a no-go, which is fucking me off. And then my mom calls me like, hey, my sister burnt her hand and she need picked up. I need to get off this road immediately. I don't think it is. Is this a cop? Who is this? Road's closed ahead. I'm confused. This is a one way, wrong way. I'm getting on this road. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting off that weird road. Okay, I'm on a different road now. This is just a journey. I'm gonna bite my fingers off. This is supposed to be a lighthearted, uh, fun little trip to take with you guys just to clear my head and, you know. Everything's going wrong. Not necessarily with this trip because nothing could have gone wrong, right? Because we're just driving. But somehow it did and I, um, my external forces are stressing me out. So I'm gonna focus on the road now and uh, I'll update you where we go. I need to get off this highway. Um, my GPS is not working anymore. I messed up. I'm sorry for swearing so much. It's very unladylike of moi. Give me some good news. Road work, two miles. Oh, great. Okay, good. Good. Good! There's nobody else on the fucking highway! Where is everybody? Where am I not? So, yes, just on a journey. Manifest good things. Because for some magical reason, we've entered a vortex that time does not exist anymore, and you just keep driving. There is no exit. There's no exit. I don't. I, mm, I want. <laughs> I'm gonna put like little live, laugh, love and some classical music on this. Maybe it'll make it look like I'm having more fun than I am. You know, so like I've said time and time again, solo travel is just shitty travel. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, it looks like maybe we can get off up here. 
it's been years since I've um, been on this highway. Time, mach time machine drive. It <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's just been confirmed that the apartment is a definite no. So I parked at a game commission place. I can just have a little rest. I'm tired of driving. <laughs> Let's see where I'm even at. Wait, oh wait, we just got a response. I just got a response email. So we just got an, uh, an apology that, oh, sorry that you went through this. We took the, the listings down now. Frank Oil City near Franklin, Oil City. Okay. Not really a cool middle of nowhere. I didn't even change states. I kind of drove east to nothingness, close to the Allegheny National Forest. That's uh, I'm right on the outskirts of it, so. Let's just have a snack, huh? Yeah, you guys wanna have a snack with me? I brought some bear bites. They were 50 cents at the Amish store. Let's have some water, we're flustered. I'll water myself. Oh, no service, okay. I'll accept it. I do these things to get out of my comfort zone, and I do get out of my comfort zone, and you guys see me getting out of my comfort zone. I feel like having another person with me during these challenging times of challenging myself needlessly, really, would be a lot funner. Like, all of it. It's all just life, and it's all the same. Everything's already happened. You know, you have everything already inside you. Things get triggered, blah, 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 but everything is already, it just is. Everything already is, and there's not really a lot to actually be genuinely um, worried and stressed about and anxious about because if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If you can't change it, you accept it. If you can't accept it, then you're gonna be miserable. So I accept this plot twist of everything. I mean, it, this I'm not really that frustrated about the whole driving thing, that's whatever. I'm kind of just out in the middle of nowhere like usual, but I'm really frustrated that um, the whole apartment thing failed. And I just kind of learned today, like right now, through this through this video that that is not going to happen and it is really hard for me to change my plans once I have a plan in my head so um, also just there's some other things that have, that have been happening that has just kind of been weird but enlightening I'm just really at a loss and I never have a plan but I definitely really definitely 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 don't have a plan right now I'm gonna drive home now oh we're not actually that far from home <laughs> Okay, that's that's cool. I didn't even show you any out. I just showed you me in the car. I was hoping, yeah, I'm gonna show them some cool scenery. Maybe go to the state park. Well, <laughs> but no, I never show you that. I just show you me vlogging my face. I know some of you guys don't like that, but there's not really a whole lot to see out here. So if you uh, trees, Trump signs, and trucks, that's what you can expect here. I kind of just drove and ended up at um. A lake thing that's pretty close to where I live. Sometimes people need to go crazy. I do it often, but you have to realize that this isn't a bad thing. I can't, it's hard for me to make videos that don't really display how it really is. Like, this is the way that it is. And people be like, oh, you live in such a beautiful place. Yeah, everybody can live in a beautiful place. You can always capture concepts of beautiful things, the way you film things, the way things are beautiful anywhere you are. But some things get old also. I have temper tantrums when things don't go my way, and that's all right. Sometimes express yourself. All right, stay tuned. And what's next? I'll see you in the next video. Who knows what adventure we can get on? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I am sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs>